Hello guys and welcome back to part 3 of the IQ tutorial series. In this video I'm going to focus on the custom lighting effect called Gradient. I've used the Gradient effect to create profiles like Neon Spiral, Neon Wave, Demo Mode, and basically everything that involves some sort of continuous wave. The process is a lot more difficult than you would imagine, but I'll try and explain everything and I'll show you how to recreate the standard rainbow wave effect from scratch, and I'll even explain how to use my existing profiles to create your own custom waves. So let's begin as usual by pressing the plus button to add in a color picker. Now let's select the right side and make it red for example. You should look at the graph from left to right. The gradient takes one second to go from the left side to the right side. You can change the lighting time to suit your needs. If you want a faster gradient, reduce the lighting time. If you want a slower gradient, then increase the lighting time. So what you might notice here is that it transitions back to white too suddenly. So what we can do to fix this is to add in a third color picker, which will be placed automatically in the middle. This is a neat feature you can take advantage of and I'll show you how in a little bit. Let's set this middle color picker to red and let's set the red color picker to white. Now the graph doesn't suddenly stop at red anymore. It goes from white to red and back to white in a smooth transition. Now moving on, over here on the right side you can make the gradient start on key pressed and end after 1. So now the gradient will play across the entire keyboard whenever you tap any key. If you want to make the gradient play only from the specific key you press, then you need to check the box that says play on key pressed. Now whenever you tap a key, it will play the gradient only on that key. Something I like to do to make it look smooth is I set the opacity at the end of the graph to its lowest. To do that you just have to drag the color picker down like this. So now when I tap a few keys, you can see that the gradient doesn't suddenly end, but instead it fades into black slowly which is more appealing to me. Let's clear everything now and let's create a nice rainbow gradient. We're going to utilize the useful feature I mentioned earlier. Press the plus button twice. Now if we select the other color pickers and press the plus button, we will get two more centered color pickers. Do this until you have nine color pickers perfectly spaced out like this. Now we have to follow the color wheel to create a perfect rainbow. Starting with red, then pink, purple, blue, cyan, green, yellow, orange, and now the last color picker should be red, which will create a smooth transition just like I mentioned at the start of the video. Now when I tap a key, it's going to be a rainbow gradient. Okay, so now let's move on. I'm going to set the effect to start with the profile and stop never. Now I'm going to select this first column of keys. This is where things start to get a little bit more complicated. We're going to create a continuous rainbow wave across the keyboard. To do this, you need to follow a specific pattern. I like to number everything because it makes it easier for me. Now let's select the second column of keys for this second gradient. Now like I said, this part's going to get a bit complicated. We are essentially going to shift the graph to the left by one color. So I'm going to make the first color picker be the second color, which is pink. Then I'll make the second color picker be the third color, which is purple. We're going to do this till we have every color shifted to the left by one. Once you get to the last color picker, you have to set it equal to the color of the first color picker. Now we're going to duplicate this new gradient and shift it to the left again and select the third column of keys. All that's left is to repeat this process until you have eight gradients and you'll also have a partially complete rainbow wave that looks like this. When you get to the 8th gradient, you might notice that there's no point to shift everything over to the left anymore because you will just end up back where you started with the first gradient. Instead what we're going to do is we're just going to reuse these 8 gradients to finish our rainbow wave. So take the first gradient, hold control, and select the 9th column of keys. Then we'll take the second gradient, hold control, and select the 10th column of keys. Repeat this till you have a complete rainbow wave. If you want to speed up the wave, you have to go into each gradient and lower the lighting time. And also make sure it's the same across all the gradients. If you want it to be one second, you have to make it one second on all the gradients. What we did here is similar to the tutorial I did on the solid effect. We essentially chained these gradients and created a rainbow wave. If you want to reverse the direction of the wave, it's pretty simple. Just deselect everything from all the gradients and start fresh. Now instead of starting with the first gradient on the left side of the keyboard, we'll select the first column on the right side of the keyboard and follow our way down to the left side of the keyboard. This will make the rainbow effect reverse. For the next part of this video, I'm going to use my ultra fast rainbow wave profile, which you can get on my website. You can use this profile as a template to create any kind of rainbow animation. So I've got the profile imported into here, and as you can see, it's a really fast rainbow wave with the smoothest gradient possible. This gradient was created using a program, so don't try recreating it by hand. Just download this profile and use it instead. I'm going to slow it down by adjusting all the lighting times to be 2 seconds, and then I'm going to clear all the selections. Now I want to demonstrate with a time lapse what you can create using these rainbow gradients. 
As long as you place the gradients one after another, you will get a smooth rainbow animation. Remember to hold control when you go back to use the same gradient on another key. Okay, so hopefully after all of this, you understand how to create your own rainbow animations, and even from scratch if you needed to. But what happens if you don't want it to be a rainbow though? Say you want a continuous wave that is only red. Well, I've already created an exclusive pack that you can download if you support me on Patreon. This pack includes a wave for each color. However, I'll still show you how to do it from scratch if you want to. I'll leave a link to the pack in the description below if you want to download it and support me on Patreon. Let's start from scratch. A blank profile and a new gradient. I'm going to create the same exact setup as what we did for the rainbow wave. Now let's instead of doing only one color, let's pick three colors. Say I want to have a wave that is only red, yellow, and blue. What you have to do is create a gradient using these colors. Unlike the rainbow wave, where I used only one color per color picker, I'm going to use one color per two color pickers, mostly to save time. The more colors you have, the smoother the wave is going to be, but I don't want this video to go on forever. So for the first two color pickers, I'll use red. Then for the next two, I'll use yellow. And then for the next two, I'll use a light blue. And for the last two, I'll use a dark blue. The color of the last color picker is going to be the color of the first color picker, which will create a smooth transition back to the start of the gradient, as I've shown in all the previous demonstrations. I'm going to also slow this gradient down by raising its lighting time to 2 seconds. What we do next is the exact same thing as what we did for the rainbow wave. Simply duplicate the gradient and shift all the colors to the left by 1 until you have the required gradients. As I mentioned before, you know you have enough gradients when the next gradient would look exactly the same as the first gradient. So in this situation, if I was to create a 10th gradient, it would look exactly the same as the first gradient, which tells me that I don't need to make any more gradients. All that's left to do is create the wave by selecting the columns in order as we did for the rainbow wave. And this is the finished product. That should cover just about everything there is to know about gradients. If you guys help me hit my 300 Patreon supporter goal, I'll do some tutorials on how I created some of my best profiles like Deep Space. Also a huge shout out to all the current supporters on Patreon. You guys make all of this possible. I'll see you next time for part 4 of the tutorial series.